Hey everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you are returning. My name is Kristen and today we are in Willow Creek and I am doing something very very short and sweet. It is a starter home and I am glad to say it is actually under 10,000 simoleons. So I built this with the rags to riches gameplay in mind so um Obviously, your Sam starts out on just any lot, you know. I think you're supposed to choose a bigger lot, technically, and you're not supposed to move off that lot the whole challenge, I believe. But I don't necessarily play like that. I will move lots if I want to, you know. Um, so I just went ahead and built it on a smaller lot. If you're doing rags to riches, you know, you could just download this on the gallery and place it on your bigger lot. It'll look exactly the same. And, um... So yeah, with the Rags to Riches gameplay in mind, so you start out with just a single sim. I think you can have two sims maybe, I'm not sure about that, but typically a single sim and then you have them go on any lot that you want and then you take away all their simoleons. <laughs> um, there is like an extreme version and then there's like, uh, like an easier version I think. I think the extreme version you start with zero simoleons, which is what I always did. And then the other version, you can start out with like 1,800 simoleons or something like that. So um, I was thinking this would not obviously be a house you would download right off the bat. Once you save up, you know, some simoleons, like 10,000 obviously, because <laughs> this is a $10,000 uh, home. If you save up 10,000 simoleons, then you'll be able to download this house. And I was actually able to decorate it pretty well for 10,000 uh, simoleons. I do have to say, thank goodness for some of the packs because they make some of the items super, super cheap. Like I ended up putting a TV in this build uh, that was only like 25 simoleons. That was from the Eco Lifestyle Pack. And then the bed that I put in the bedroom, also from the Eco Lifestyle Pack. Um, that pack definitely has some cheap stuff. I think it has to do with like the whole dumpster diving thing. So this house is half dumpster dived, okay? But that's totally fine. Uh, if I know anything about the Rags to Riches game, then dumpster diving definitely comes in handy. It probably comes in a little bit too handy sometimes. And Sims love it. They love to dumpster dive. Uh, could not be me. <laughs> could not be me at all. And as you guys see right now, I have these like um, ambient lights or whatever they're called. They're just like the free lights. And I cannot stand the way they look. So I, I had to replace them. I was trying to do it free, you know. I didn't want to pay 50 simoleons for each of those lights. That's four lights. So that's 200 simoleons right there that I could have spent on something else. But those other ambient lights are just, uh, they weren't doing it for me. The lighting was all like wonky almost. It was like by the ceiling, it was kind of dark. <laughs> and then down by, you know, like the floor and everything was super bright. And so it made absolutely no sense. It was really irking me and making the place look worse. And so I decided to do away with those. And I'm quite happy that I did. Looking back now at the video, I am very, very happy that I took them away. And there is that, uh, the cheap bed that I was talking about from Eco Lifestyle. That is a whole, like, 25 simoleons, I think. If I'm not mistaken, it's something super cheap. Like, super cheap. All it is is, like, an air mattress. Um, I've been there. I, I've slept on an air mattress for, like, a month out of my life waiting to buy a new bed. And, uh... It's not the most comfortable, but it gets the job done. It's better than sleeping on the floor, you know? And um, I also chose one of the cleaner options. <laughs> Some of the like air mattresses in the Eco Lifestyle have like coffee stains on it and a bunch of stuff. And I was trying to make this like a cute house, like as cute as I could do, you know, for like the cheap price. And so I, I, picked the cleanest one that I could find and that totally it's not totally clean there's some rips in it and stuff but it's fine you know just don't don't look at it and it's fine and then I also chose those chairs I believe those chairs are also from and the table Eco Lifestyle I believe Eco Lifestyle for building cheap 
starter homes that is like the best pack i am telling you they have like so many cheap options and um i think i pulled out the tv already i think we're pretty much done with the outside already or the inside i mean and now i'm back outside pulling out some debug and just trying to decorate the outside a little bit i almost did those yellow and purple flowers because they just looked really pretty and vibrant together but there was just something i couldn't find the right yellow flowers they don't have the debug version of my favorite yellow flowers and um i don't know why <laughs> they they need to fix that but um i ended up doing away with the purple flowers because i ended up putting some of these like white bushy hydrangeas out there and the purple flowers just didn't go as good with those as they did with like the yellow flowers i was trying to use and so i did away with the purple flowers all together and there's not yellow really out there either it's it's the white hydrangeas and then i put like bushy like vines underneath it and it turned out pretty and as you can see in the back i was pulling out some of those lights i think those string lights were from like cottage living or something and i was gonna put them in the trees like that i've done that in in the past before and I, I liked it, don't get me wrong, but I came across this other tree that was from Outdoor Retreat uh, that is just gorgeous. I wish the lighting was a little bit better. It is debugs, so the lighting's not great, but you'll see it here in a little bit. Um, I'll be pull, pulling it out shortly. And it has these white lanterns coming off of like the branches and then it has string lights around the trunk and it looks so pretty and i've seen that tree before uh this is not new to me i just totally forgot it existed and so when i pulled it out i was like so happy and then i did away with those string light ideas it was just easier just to plop down that other tree and it looked better with the build as well Something about both of these trees with the string light in between it, just I wasn't getting it to look exactly how I wanted it to. I'll save that for a different build because it definitely is a good idea and it is cute and I do love doing the whole string lights in the trees like that. And um, Cottage Living is definitely a good pack for that because they have a lot of string lights in the debug. And, um, and then I just, I pulled out some of those debug fences as well and has like overgrown not branches but like vines I guess bushes on the tree or not the tree I got distracted because I pulled out that tree I was talking about and I was looking at it and admiring it again but um no the fences is what I'm talking about it has like vines on it you know and I know they your Sam's used to be able to walk through all of this debug but I wonder if they fixed that because I've been having a problem building with like cars out of the debug and your sims cannot walk through the cars out of the debug like i thought they were able to so i i wonder if they're updating the debug to where your sims cannot actually walk through it and if that's the case i really hope so because i hate when your sims walk through it it's like not realistic and it's not you know i it's it's almost like an eyesore you know what i mean and um yeah i ended up putting some more vines on the side of the house over there i hate those little tiny windows that go in bathrooms on the outside of the house they always look so like ugly <laughs> and so i usually kind of mask the ugliness with some vines growing up on the house and i don't know you guys tell me is that something that's cute or is it a little do i put a little bit too much landscaping i know i can go overboard with the landscaping especially for like starter homes when I'm really trying to fill up the lot and make it look more than it really is but I don't know just a lot of landscaping and the whole overgrown look in the sims out of real life too to be honest I think it looks so pretty I love like gardens that are kind of overgrown and a little bit unkept you know not not totally unkept <laughs> but it doesn't have to be like really neatly manicured you know i think it looks really good when it's a little uncut and it just looks natural you know and so i actually really like the landscaping in this build um i don't think it's too much it's perfect for like a gardener sim so 
if your Sam is like a future gardener or something or perfect for rags to riches because you can make some good money on uh, gardening. Let me just tell you that. And so this house would be perfect for like a future gardener. And I also pulled out a trash can, but I don't leave it there. It looked, it looked ugly there. And so I move it back into the bag and I ended up just putting it at the end. I ended up putting it just out there by the back door. And that's not my favorite. I don't really want it right there, especially a trash can like that. That looks like a park trash can, you know, that wouldn't have been my first choice for a trash can, but as uh, slim pickings when it comes to starter homes that was the cheapest one so that's what we got <laughs> and so i'm also just adding some terrain paint i ended up just filling up the whole backyard with that like gravelly terrain paint and i think it looks really pretty it might be a little bit too much for you guys but i thought that looked a lot better than just having grass back there with just the grass there was like something missing you know and so i really i wanted to add the gravel and also like a little a little trail from the front to the back and then there's a little side off to that other sidewalk and yeah i think this build turned out really pretty and i also even managed to put a bike out there <laughs> and right here i you seen me change the shower to that cheaper shower but in the end i ended up taking that shower away and just replacing it with the shower that was originally there. I had a little bit more simoleons to spend than I thought I did. So there, I just, I put it back. Um, and then I'm just putting some picture frames and stuff around because did you guys realize that those picture frames are free? Uh, I didn't until I was building this build and I was like, oh my gosh, they're free. And so I'm going to be using those in so many of my starter homes <laughs> because I mean, they take up wall space and then I think they're cute. I love when I'm playing the actual like game with my Sims like family and I have them take pictures and I put their family pictures in those picture frames and I think it's just so cute and really homey feeling and it makes it, it makes you almost feel closer to your Sims. I feel like that might be weird. But it, it's true. And I almost added a laptop, but I did not have enough money. I'm just going around adding like some last minute decorations and stuff. Um, oh, and I also here shortly, I'm going to be pulling out like a frog or something. I think it's a frog. It's some sort of creature <laughs> in this like terranium. And honestly, nope, no reason. <laughs> I just wanted them to have a little bit of a pet. And then also... I had a few more simoleons to spend and I was trying to get it as close to 10,000 as possible. I think we're like four simoleons short of 10,000. So we're almost there. But anyway, we are nearing the screenshots now. And so I really hope you enjoyed this build. If you did, then leave a like on this video. So I know you enjoyed it. And also subscribe to my channel if you are new. This is available on the gallery if you would like to download it. And here are the screenshots. I hope you guys have an amazing day. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a dick